Hello everyone, it's Janine here. Welcome to my channel. I am in a swap with a most amazing crafter by the name of Shona Hernandez. I'm sure all of you know her already. She is just, her work is just stunning. And um, I met, met Shona um, via Miss Garden Grove's ones. Uh, ambassador group she's also part of the group and we got to talking and I admire her work so so we decided to do to do a swap and we decided to do three items one was a, a, a lace book you can make it any way you want to and the other was a clutch you could make that any way you want to as well and the third was an, uh, a surprise item turns out Shona's favorite color is also blue so I had I don't often make blue projects and I had lots of fun making these three things for her and yep I made them all in blue I just couldn't help myself and um, when I told her that she said oh I don't mind she loves blue so anyway let me get right into it so the first project I'm going to share with you is my pocketbook so as you can see, it's just wonderfully blue. Let me just take this out quickly so that I can begin to explain. So the base of my pocketbook is fabric. So I have fabric and then of course I have the um, felt in the middle and various different fabrics I've used. Um, so I, I have this ticking fabric, I think it's called in front and at the back I have it in the middle I have a different fabric and I used a I just cut a piece of like it of a linen uh, tray cloth and I folded it over so that that Battenberg piece can show and so yeah I have a blue and a matching stick pin but I removed it and I wrapped it up in some doilies and I put it in a, a Shona's packet because I said to her that they might just remove it at customs so she knows to put the stick in there. So that's why this flap is not secure down. I used a very delicate little lace going all the way around over there. And of course, my favorite pulls all over. And underneath there, I have a flower, sequin flower that I got from Mary, DC Scrapping Rooster. And okay, so that's been out of the fabric, and then all this lovely blue lace that I have around the edge and on the side, and at the bottom here, I received from Virginia. 1968 thank you very much Virginia you didn't know blue was one of my favorite colors and they all came in so handy for this project um, underneath I have some eyelet trim and I think I got this from Nola and um, and then I have this okay so um, before I explain that on the side I have this blue trim as well also from V and I have some diamante looking bling in the center and then I have an image of this lady she is on fabric and she's popped up with underneath I have this beautiful beautiful blue fabric there that's the fabric lace fabric you can see it better at the back I used it on front in front and I snipped the little piece out so that I could insert the image and over here I put a flower I got from Olivia in such a way that it looks like it's a hat you know and I put uh, oval poles in the parts of the lace that is shaped like a flower no there's none at the back so <clears throat> over there and there's a little 
flower there as well with the pearl and over here <coughs> sorry guys my throat is quite sore I have some I think any Miss Garden Rock wine dyed this herself I'm not sure but it came in one of the kits and it's just perfect the blue you know it picks up all the different shades and then yeah I have <coughs> two flowers on top of each other and a bling piece in the middle over here as well I have a doily at the bottom and the rest of that flower over there and another doily piece and then this flower in the center and over here we have which I created the effect that she's looking down at this blue roses and there's just a little piece of applique and there is a bling bow holding her dress together and as you can see her dress is this is the dress with that piece of lace on top there as well and I've got little bling um, pieces there as well I hope you can catch it I think I received this from Debbie Vignola these beautiful flowers that I finally get a chance to use I was gifted by Olivia in a swap and then I have this pearl uh, piece here just dangling down there's another uh, flower on, on on this piece here which I just let you know the same fabric there I just let it dangle and um, and at the bottom I have another trim that trim over there I think there's pearls in there as well yes there is and then I have beautiful lace from Virginia and that eyelet trim and more lace and that's the inside so that's the front some flower clusters over there and as I showed you that's the back I carried the um, the same laces that I used up there and over here I carried a cross and there's some more of that ticking fabric and which I got from Janet thank you Janet and um, poles and then a doily with a flower in the middle and this ticking fabric also serves where I put the um, oh gosh sorry you guys and um, you know where I put the closure and there's a pole uh, where I loop the, the ties through and it goes under the ticking. So I think that's all for that for the front. So on my tie I've got three pieces going on there. I've got white seam binding and this blue seam binding and this is wool now you'll see this a lot in two of my projects and it is this wool over here and you know yeah we don't have a Michael's or Hobby Lobby or Joanne's or anything like that but we do have a Daiso and when I walk through Daiso I will buy things that I think I can use in different ways so this wool I do not knit with I use it to so as you can see there's the binding and on the side here you'll see I glued a strip all the way down there and underneath there all the way and it's just a, you know um, it just hangs there I thought I first thought of putting a charm piece, you know, a charm dangle there, but I changed my mind. And where else do I have it now? So at the bottom of my closures, I have a finding piece, you know, this we use metal piece over here. Sorry, guys, I'm so off my whatever today in these blue flowers and the pesky glue string. So those, they just um, keep the, you know, the closure for the book. 
So when you, oh, okay, so let's go to this pocket first. So this is the inside of the pocket. Normally I would have a pocket here with goodies inside, but I did this one a little different. So the same fabric, the same lace there and there. And I put this beautiful flower, which I bought from a local store. I wrapped a doily around it. There's a bling butterfly, which kind of, this and my bow and my you know I keep it all with the same kind of bling and um, and then I have some seam binding here as well and I have on fabric the word inspire there's a button and that's it and over here I have a different kind of lace which you'll see again later in the in the project and I pulls and through the the loop the holes in the I think I made that holes um, I used the wall and it just adds that nice effect so inside we have three pockets at the top there's more um, eyelet trim and then that's the fabric I used inside. I have it on another project, which you can see more clearly on one of the project um, items I'm sending to. And then I have that lace on top with different pieces of flowers, embroidered flowers over there. Um, some more beautiful lace from V, some more eyelet trim from a stash. And at the bottom as well, this eyelet trim is from my stash, or this trim is from my stash as well. And I have put poles on each side. These holds, as you can see. So I, on each one, I put those poles over there and that, and they're at the back as well. Here we go. So this, oh pesky blue glue string you know you take your heat gun and you think you got rid of them all but they hide away <laughs> so these blue trim blue lace blue lace thank you V gorgeous and then I have some more of those beautiful flowers from Olivia and alternate blue poles with white poles across the I use sticking fabric on the outside that fabric on the inside and here I have a trim as well and underneath there to give it some dimension you can see I used the wool again and then just a very delicate blue lace on top oh and also over here I used something something um let me just show you come 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 I'm sorry I didn't take it out I bought this by Daiso as well and I painstakingly because it's so thin but it looks so pretty because it's got the green and the blue and I put it all the way there and I left little dangly pieces just like that oh crap and then inside there's some goodies so you know and then again it just closes so I will leave that there while I show you some other projects. So that's what I'm going to go with. Oh, and then inside here I just put some blue trim on a peg. And so that one goes over there. And the next item I made is the clutch. So there's the, here's my clutch. As you can see, it's the same color scheme. Um, this one's more cream and blue as opposed to white and blue. So when I was back home, there was this huge pillow in a, in a second hand store. I think the pillow must have been about maybe 90 inches square. And it had this beautiful fabric. On there this blue fabric I mean I've put it away wait here we go there we go isn't that just gorgeous 
vintage fabric. And of course I bought it. And I've been keeping, I haven't had an opportunity to use it. And this was just a perfect project to use it on. And that's why I used cream and not white because of that shade. And oh, I just love it. So I used that. So let me go to the color king. As you can see, um, it's my, my flap. And these pieces was from Olivia. These are oval pearl in the center. On the side, I have those gorgeous flowers from Neri and from my stash I have this flower from my stash and then I put Neri's flower in the center I have lace on the side um, this this gorgeous beautiful lace applique this uh, lace applique was from Neri as well so I have it at the bottom and I think this is from Neri too so I have two one then one then this is another oval pearl and over there and it's got lace inside so when you turn it around um, so you have some more of the lace on the side of the um, from nearly more oval pearls and some more lace over here and then I just positioned this part I cut out of a, 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 tea, a tray cloth and positioned it over here and this is all one piece applique but I cut it so that this you see like that but I cut it so that this stands up and these are also two extra pieces which I think was from Neri as well and this I'm trying to do video tutorial so this is the best way I can do my tripod so just ignore that for the moment so and um, I love how this turned out it's such a lovely combination of the blue and the cream and then over here I just have um, dangles with pearls at the back so you know where you have blue in front you'll have white or cream at the back so I've alternated them and then this pearl dangle from Neri as well Neri just has beautiful things I'll put a link to her um, channel below and she's always selling amazing trims and laces and appliques and Neri also has a zippet store so you guys must go and check her out if you already haven't if you haven't done so already and so let me show you the the cover okay so on the top I have lace and this rosette trim with blue flowers tiny blue flowers and then this trim which is an old old piece of um, trim from I'm not sure if it was a tablecloth or what but I also bought this at a vintage store back home and then this is part of a doily which I cut to use in this way and I put little poles but they're shaped as a flower all the, all around to keep it down on the flap and over here I have more lace and over there I have more lace so <coughs> I forgot to take everything out but nevertheless <coughs> so there's the beautiful fabric and over here I have this I have left from a wonderful lady gifted me quite a lot of these doilies thank you for that and then this part here belongs to this tray cloth so I put that in front there you know and then just have the leaves positioned in such a way you know without gluing it down completely another one of those bling flowers 
and over there I have trim and then I have this blue navy trim going all the way across and more poles at the bottom some more nice delicate looking trim and that's a day <coughs> so let me show you one more time the back and the inside so there's that one and then the last thing I made her the surprise item is this yeah you can see it all okay so um <coughs> i saw uh this this project is pinterest inspired i saw on pinterest a marie antoinette uh figure in a bird cage so i did the same so this let me just bring her closer so you can see. So this um, figure, the, the top Marie Antoinette bodice, so it's from the Italy, this is the bodice, was part of the kit from Annie, Miss Garden Grove 1. So I used that over there. She's sold it stuffed already. And I added blue jewelry. I added a feather. On her head, here's a silver butterfly that comes here because you know, Mari was very ornate with her head pieces. So, as you can see, there's a crown. So, I, there's a silver uh, butterfly that goes here, but for traveling purposes, I kept it in the package and uh, Shauna must just glue it on there. So, there's the the crown and there's her neck piece so these is all fashion jewelry that I carefully cut out so that it looked like that this is applique I cut out and positioned so that it looked like it's part of like it's a dress okay so her her um but she comes still here and then I flared her out and I glued her on the top part of the bird cage. And um so then like I said that's an applique. I put a piece here for like a bracelet as well. And and let me show you the back. Okay, so the back is um I covered her with the blue and white fabric on top of the, the head and this is all this is the applique piece which is comes around the front and then there's some more appliques just creating the effect of a dress and over here I have different laces three different types of laces to create the back of a dress and there's a silver flower and underneath the flower there is um, some dangle from Neri and as you can see so this at the bottom here this is the fabric I was referring to that I used on the inside of my pocketbook, I used this underneath there, as you can see. So this is a po uh, It's more. Um, my mom bought this a while ago, long time ago, and her intention was to recover, you know, the chairs. Um, outside on our patio and she never got around to doing it and she gave it to me many years ago well, about three or four years ago and I've never used it and it's nice and stiff no, well not stiff but it's got and it's a double piece I used uh, two layers and at the bottom I have the silver lace you see underneath there is just the bird cage so I have the um, the silver lace and then I have this 
beautiful white lace and on the dress here at the back there are several things there is um blue bling pieces there's blue ribbon on the outside and to make it even more stiff i have the blue ribbon at the bottom as well these flowers this is um this uh curl this uh you know that belong to the lace so i just put some blue trim over there blue uh pleated trim to create the you know i wanted the dress to be stiff and it is quite stiff like Maori dress should be if you know what i mean huh look at that if i turn it to this side i noticed that shauna loves um altering dolls and beautiful work she does <clears throat> and so um, I thought this would be a perfect project for her to hopefully want to add to a collection these some more applique pieces I put at the back and of course I have pearls over there and over there and all that different types of so, so that's what the back looks like. Let me just twirl it around. She's very, um, her dress is very, very, uh, you know, spread out like that. And then on the front, I have another piece of applique, which is glued down and it just hangs over there. So that we can open the bird cage, and the bird cage opens like that. So I wonder if you can guess what's inside. Yeah, a bird's nest. Okay, so underneath the, I've got flowers and a doily piece with some pearls over there, and. So the bird cage is I mean the bird cage is empty inside as you can see just with the flowers on top and then right at the bottom I don't want it to fall there's this um, plastic coaster which I got from Daiso so that fits perfectly at the bottom and then I created this um, little display for the bird nest and bird to be on so this is a, a coaster as well a Daiso coaster and I put some fabric on here this type of fabric and lots of paper flowers tiny paper flowers underneath the I have a big blue rosette and a doily on top of the so these are just paper flowers and then I used several of this uh, uh, pearl dangle trim pieces from Neary and I, oh my sorry about that I took a call <clears throat> so as I was saying this is a plastic coaster which goes in there and then I've explained this one. So um, I've also put some beads onto this doily over here. I love doing that. These are blue and yellow. Well, just a little string. So that peeps through the, the pole dangles as well, as you can see. So this is just a silver uh, piece. You know, it's like a can put candles or flowers or anything I get on there so I use that I have that in my stash I use that and as you can see that's the doily with the beads on so so that goes into the bird cage I haven't glued any of it down she can um, you know so it fits very nicely in there So, <clears throat> so she's there, and then 
I used, and then to make the bird's nest, I just used a flower and pieces of lace. I took some uh, fibers and just made it into a round shape and put one of Neri's flowers in the center. And that's my bird, my bird's nest. I didn't put any eggs this time. So that just goes in there. Well, let me just take it all out again so I can show you. So she can glue down the bird's nest and, you know, all that stuff. So, so it's the bird's, the, the, um, bird's nest like that. And of course, <coughs> my bird. I had a blue bird in my stash. And I have decorated her. There's some. I added feathers over there. You can see. And there's a piece of snippet of an applique. These blue feathers on the side here, I added those as well. And I added some applique on the blue feathers I added over there. You can see there's the blue feathers I added. And that's what she's got some bling on her like there and underneath so and then I put that headpiece she's so cute so so what so she just sits on the <coughs> on her nest and views the world from her special special place so Shona you can add birds nests or you know even down here you can put some but I I didn't add birds um, eggs as I said so she just goes um, in there and the bird's nest and she sits at an angle like that she fits in very nicely as you can see very very nicely she can there we go and yeah so then she closes flips in So in there she is hiding away. So yeah, so this is my su surprise project for her. And so these are the three projects I made for her. So Shona, by the time this video is uploaded, you would have opened your box already. So. I hope you like these things I made for you and as soon as I when I get her stuff I will make a video with that as well so guys everybody thanks for looking and commenting commenting and yeah I'll speak to you soon thank you